how to get your pattern onto your pieces of wool and then onto your background. The first thing you're going to do is trace all the individual little pieces. Now this is not a set that you have seen, but this is the pattern that I could find at the moment. So I'm going to be going back and forth between several motifs just to show you the steps. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at my motif and I'm going to decide what's going to be appliqued and what's going to be just embroidered. So I'm going to applique the three leaves and the five flowers. All of the rest of these little things are going to be applique, or sorry, embroidered. So I trace all those little pieces individually onto a piece of freezer paper. Next, I cut those pieces of freezer paper apart from one another. So now I'm onto the shamrock motif. Sorry, but this is the only way that I can figure out how to do it without making six of the same thing. So I have all of my individual pieces. I chose three different colors of green. I've got one leaf here, one or two leaves and two leaves. And you can see that there's a line around each one of those shapes. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them out. Oh, sorry. I cut out the freezer paper and then I iron it onto the appropriate piece of wool, the corresponding piece. And then with a sharp little pair of scissors, you go around and you cut out on the line. And that is how you cut out the little shapes. Now I have something interesting to show you here. I asked someone else to prep one of these and this is how she brought back the prepping. And so there's no right and wrong way ever when you're working with wool. So I would have traced all of those leaves and petals on the shamrocks together, but she brought hers back to me like this. And so then this allows me to come and arrange the little flowers in little hearts, which is a really fun idea. So you can do this however you'd like, but you can see how you can get the little pieces and then what you do is you glue them onto the background where they need to go, or you can pin them if you would prefer that. And then you have your pieces cut out. Let me turn to this motif. Okay, so this is the full cart tulip. This is what goes on to the front of your um, needle notebook if you're making one of those. And you have that little piece of template plastic. You're going to trace around this design with a dry erase marker. And then you're going to put that onto your wool hexagon and you're going to line it up with the pieces and then you're going to glue them on. So I've already glued on the tulip and the stem. I just put a couple of little drops of glue and I use just an applique glue. I like the ones with the pointed little tips. And then if I wanted to glue all the pieces I can. And so this is literally the amount of glue that I use. I don't use a lot. I sit this back on and then I can tuck this in. Now I can eyeball this, but some pieces are a little bit more difficult to eyeball <laughs> on other motifs. Notice that when I glue, I avoid down the center, and I do that because I know that I'm going to be stitching down the center. And you can see how you can line up this stuff really easily and it's ready to stitch. I like to stitch and applique everything down using a whip stitch, and that is a separate tutorial. <laughs>